All right, guys. So, uh, I'm not a vlog channel. Um, and this is going to be my last vlogging video. I generally do the landscapes videos, the gaming videos, the uh, gourmet cooking videos. Um, not so much the golfing videos anymore, but I, I will, once I get my golfing back up, I will do some, um, some lifting motivation videos and um, a couple random ones here throughout there. Um, I will I will say this, um, America's in a trouble situation. You got each side, the left and the, uh, you got the, the woke left, insane snowflake, wanna cancel you if you disagree side is rushing at the uh, people like me side, which is rushing at them. And it's all because uh, we don't believe in their woke shit and they don't believe in our traditional shit. And um, I, feel, I feel like I can talk a little better today. Uh, the other videos I was kind of ranting, but um, bro, you got people out here who think they can cancel you people on the left that think they can cancel your opinion if they disagree um you got people on the left um black people wanting special treatment um it's not gonna happen this is this is america buddy um the only one that owes you special treatment is yourself um you got people on the left who uh believe in all this abortion which is murder i don't care what you say that is murder got people on the left who don't even believe in guns they they believe in gun control if anything um you got people on the left who they believe women should be in uh men should be in women's sports and uh they believe in all this lgbtq queer shit bro i don't care what you say you you, you can come at me and try to cancel me and censor me I've never been in a position um, where I cared. Like um, some people are afraid to lose their job if they speak the truth or if they uh, speak up against it. I know some people are getting job training, like diversity training on their jobs. And if they speak out against it, they'll be fired. I know a lot of people who, if they didn't get the COVID shot, they was fired. Um, I know a lot of people you asking, well, why don't you go and do something like join, join the military or police or something and go in there and then, then you can go in, try to fix it yourself and uh, try to make an impact myself. Um, if people ain't, uh, if people ain't doing what they're supposed to be doing, it's on us to, to go in there and try to do it better than them. Well, I already went out to some of these. I went to, I went to military and they said I had mental, they said I had mental, and uh, really all I had was depression and anxiety. They said that was enough though. And uh, I went went to be police, I, went, I did that too. Um, and that's, that's the contrast. You got traditional people out here who believe in working for what you got. Um, they believe in freedom of religion the left doesn't. The left, if, if, if you fucking disagree with their religion, they want to cancel you. Uh, look at Morgan Wallen. Look at Brantley Gilbert. Look at Jason Aldean. Look at Chris Pratt. Look at uh, look at the whole Christian religion. Uh, the schools are fucked up. Even the military's fucked up now. Some of these police systems are fucked up. They have, like, these... They had these... Um, they had these woke cops arresting... I saw the video the other day. This woke ass little short little punk looking cop arrested a look like a 17 or 18 year old kid for reading the Bible. And uh it's nothing but punks out here. And uh and that's and that's honestly if you know me, you know one of my biggest things is fighting should be legal cuz you know damn well a dumb motherfucker out here ain't going to keep acting dumb if somebody punched him in the face. And told him, hey, don't act like that. But um, I'm not here to threaten anybody. I'm just here to tell you that 
there's there's no consequences for being stupid or having bad behavior anymore. In fact, it's the exact opposite. Uh, people on the left praise it. <laughs> uh, people on the right, well, yeah, we like our religion. We like our uh, work hard for our own money. And uh, we like our freedom of speech, which <laughs> you say anything against this left that they don't like, they don't agree with, they'll try to cancel you. Um, we like our Second Amendment. We like our uh, we're pro life. Don't have, don't don't plan to have a kid if if you don't want to have a kid. It's that simple. Um, we believe that uh, men shouldn't be in female sports. We believe in America. The left hates America, bro. They hate America, and they won't leave. Is the funny part. We we don't, on the traditional side. We love America, bro. Bro, you always see them videos like like um somebody stepping on the flag. Bro, why can't that happen in front of me, bro? I will be the first one out of my car and stomp somebody. And um I'm not kidding either. Like this this is what I believe. And I'm not going to be quiet about it, bro. I'm not going to be quiet about it. Um Biden out here right now He's pulling plays out of the communist playbook. He is just trying to cancel Donald Trump any way he can. He's trying to get him locked up. And you'd be like, why? He didn't do nothing wrong. Donald Trump didn't do nothing wrong. The only thing he does is he wants to give power back to the people. That's why Joe Biden can't stand it. Then you got these idiot lefties who think, oh, I'm just going to go along with it because maybe it'll benefit for me in the long run. It ain't going to benefit you in the long run, bro. This man is trying to t trying to fucking turn the justice system upside down, bro. You you can't prosecute political enemies just because they're your political, just because they're they're the on the opposite political school side of the aisle for you, bro. And um, dude, I was looking at houses the other day, right? And in Biden's economy, and even gas prices and like shopping prices and meat prices and shit, like I'm looking at I'm looking at houses, bro, and these houses. I looked at one that I really thought should be three hundred and like forty thousand dollars, and I've worked on the outside of houses, landscape, and I worked on the inside of houses, painting, and uh, you know maybe some trim here and there. Bro, the they were asking for four hundred seventy thousand dollars for this house. I'm like, and it wasn't like that. It wasn't even anything special. It's just like that's how it is these days because of Joe Biden. Let's go, Brandon. He's a punk. Um, I really believe it all started with Obama. And this is the last vlog I'm going to do. I don't enjoy doing them. Um, I, actually, I actually don't go in front of the camera well. I'd much rather do gaming videos or motivate y'all with lifting videos. Okay? Um, but I'm just telling you, yo. I lost friends over this COVID shit, bro. One of my friends was like, one of my friends was trying to coax me into getting it. I'm like, bro, are you stupid? You don't even know what that shit's gonna do, bro. And then you got uh, and a big misconception about me is people think I like current events and political shits. I don't like that shit, y'all. It's just every day I get up, I see the next stupid fucking article from these lefty idiots. Bro, people cannot handle the truth anymore. People cannot handle the truth anymore. That's, that's that simple. So you have people who can't handle the truth that offends them. And uh, the, the people that I really get irritated at is the people who know the truth, but won't say it spade for spade. And I'll give you an example. Like um, if you see a black person doing something wrong, and you don't call it out because, oh, I don't want to be racist. I hate that more than more than people who just can't take the truth. I hate that more than people who can't take the truth. You know, it's just, it's just and that's that's exactly what you're living in. You're living in like a crazy ass world these days, bro. And um, I'm not aiming this at nobody. How about family divide, guys? How about family divide? I know this shit happened to some of y'all. It happens to me. 
and uh, I'm not going to name anybody, but my, my family, half, half, no, it's more than half, more than half of my family is on that woke snowflake left and saying communist, hate America, dumb side. And um, I got some of my family that actually don't like me because of it, bro. Like, meanwhile, I'm just on the traditional side. I don't not, I don't hate them because they they fucking with that. I'm just like, yo, miss me with that shit. Miss me. Keep that shit way away from me because I don't like it. They on the other hand, they hate me. They don't want they they want to cancel me if they could. Me on the other hand, I'm just like keep that shit away from me as long as you miss me with that shit. I'm good. And then you got these uh lefties out here. They can't even have a debate with you because as soon as they hear something other than the parroted narrative that's handed to them by the fake news bubble, they break down. They break they literally break down. Um Simple, simple example of that. I was like, bro, there should not be a man swimming with uh, swimming on a, a women's swim team. There should not be a man swimming on a women's swim team. The person I was arguing with, like, just broke down and was like, that's not what's happening. And I was like, bro, y'all know what I'm talking about. There's people out here that they can't handle it. They just break down. Like once the uh, mainstream news uh, narrative is, is broken. And uh, last thing I'm going to say is these people. I don't like these people. But I don't hate them either. See, I'm, I'm on traditional side. I don't like you, but I don't hate you either. Like the people on the left side. They don't like you and they hate you and they want to cancel you. Like I don't, I don't like them, but I don't want to cancel them. The last thing I'm going to say on this is um that fake news uh media is gonna get a lot of people in trouble and they just lie all flat out lie all day bro they flat out lie all day like when um they have woke people thinking they're the majority They literally do. And it's going to get them into trouble because, like, I, I'll throw a scenario. You, um, you're in a parking lot shopping and somebody has a MAGA hat on. You go up to them, tell them to take their hat off. You get physical with them. They pull, they pull, they pull something on you. I mean, how stupid are you, bro? You, you can't go, you can't go up to people like that, bro. It's, it's. It's lunacy, bro. These these people on the left are insane, bro. Um, I'm trying to think of some other uh, lefty versus traditionalist. Um, just family values, man. Left the left don't care about. It. They're talking about um, schools being like um, able to tell. The, even the schools have gotten so fucked up to the point. That uh, the left think that they can tell kids to um, transition into a different gender. Like, you're, that's that's the dumbest shit. Bro, I, I, I don't know if it's just me or not. But, like, if you told me that when I was in school, we would probably, like, kick the shit out of the teacher. That's just, that's how we were. I walk out of school when I was in school. I walked out of school to my girlfriend's house, like, maybe three times a week. That's how I was in school. You weren't going to tell me some dumb shit. I'll at least crack a joke on you in front of the whole class. Um, and this canceling, bro. It, I don't. I don't know where these lefties get it. I don't. I, this and it's, it's only on the left, bro. People on the right, they say this is what people on the on the on the tr on the traditional side say. They say, bro, that's fine. You can believe that. You can't back it up with facts, but that's fine that you can believe it. Just keep it away from me and miss me with that shit. People on the left, lunatic, commie, uh, hate America, insane, woke side. As soon as you say something they don't like, they want to cancel you. Get you off social media. They'd probably freeze your bank account if they could. That's why I talk about them C C uh, CBDCs, uh, the central bank digital currencies. Bro, <laughs> the government is all corrupt too, bro. It started with Obama. 
There should be age limits and term limits. They're mad at Donald Trump because he's giving it back to the people. And um, so it's if, if Donald Trump was just taking their power away, they'd still be mad too. But he's taking their power and giving it back to the people. That's why they're trying to prosecute him, persecute him. And um, weaponizing justice systems. And uh, at this point, I really believe that they're, they are looking... They are, uh, they're just chasing a wish hunt at this point. And like, it baffles me sometimes, my boys. So yeah, guys. That's just how I feel on my views. Um, not going to change it. And, um, I'm not, and like, here's the thing. I'm not like afraid. I've never held a job in a high enough position to where they actually care what I think. So like, I see if you're scared to like get your job taken away from you, you won't speak out, but like more people need to speak out and shit and this wouldn't be happening. Like, um, I'm not afraid to speak out on what I see is going wrong. I'm not going to shut up either, bro. And, um, it's, it's just crazy. It's crazy. Y'all stay safe. Stay safe because, um, you know, this is crazy out here. Um, also I had the other video I was talking about, um, all right, well, we're not even going to do that. I really don't like these vlogs. I just wanted to uh, post that. Um, and that's not single any of y'all out. That is not single any of y'all out. That is just me communicating my views. If you don't like them, you don't have to. I didn't even ask you to like them. I didn't even ask you to click on this video. So if you if you wanna report this, report this video. Can't get them canceled, bro. Bro, just change the video and then you don't even have to hear me talk. It's that simple. I know, I know that never hit your woke mind, but it's literally that simple. Um, we ain't the party of hate. We're just traditional family values, work hard. Y'all are the family, y'all are the party of hate and intolerance and control and communism and anti-American snowflake bullshit. That's how I see it, bro. You couldn't pay me to, to fucking not like the country I'm in, bro. You couldn't pay me. I tried serving, bro. I tried. They told me I had mental and shit. You couldn't pay me, bro. It's like Marcus Luttrell says. All your enemies ain't overseas no more. They're, they're in the Congress. Bro, and, and like, they just elect themselves. They make their own laws. They be trying to slide. Oh, and that election, boys. Joe Biden didn't get 81 million votes, bro. Joe Biden didn't get 81 million votes, bro. There's no way. He couldn't even get more than eight people at a rally, bro. Donald Trump had 100,000 people at his rally. And I, I I, do remember hearing that was a uh, that was a bad night for him. On a good night at a Donald Trump rally, he was pulling like 200,000, 300,000 people trying to see him. And uh, you, you just... You can't sway me. You can't buy me. You can't sway me. I'm so, I'm sorry to tell you. And some and some of you hate that. But um, yeah, this is like a train. It's like a train coming from this side, and a train coming from this side, and both, bro. You can feel it in the in the um air, bro. I swear you can feel it in the tension. Oh yeah, what's the other thing I was gonna say? Uh, Biden, Biden trying to get us into all these wars and shit. Trump didn't get us into one fucking war. Prices on the gas. I'm, 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 I'm at this point. I'm starting to rant. Stay safe out there, peoples. Um, just stay safe. That's all I'm gonna say. Peace.